Welcome to another video of Capital Budgeting where we will look at an example of payback period with uneven cash flow. Suppose that a project requires an initial investment of Rs. 20,000. It then generates cash inflows of Rs. 8,000, Rs. 7,000, rupees 4000 and rupees 3000 during the next four years. Find out the project's payback. So let us first draw a time scale for the cash inflows and outflows. So we have four years in consideration. So zero, one, two, three, and four. The initial outlay is 20,000 rupees. And then the cash inflow is 8,000, 7,000, 4,000, and 3,000 rupees. So since this is an outflow from our pocket, I'll show this with a negative sign. So as part of the payback period method, we need to find out within how much time will we be able to recover the original investment of 20,000 rupees. Now, as you can see, the cash inflow is uneven. So at the end of first year, we are getting 8,000 rupees. At the end of second year, we are getting 7,000 rupees, then 4,000 and then 3,000. An example of even or constant cash flow would be 8,000, 8,000, 8,000, 8,000 or 7,000, 7,000, 7,000, 7,000 and so on. Now just to recall, the payback for an even or a constant cash flow can be calculated using the formula initial investment divided by periodic cash flow. However, since this is a case of uneven cash flow, the payback can be calculated using the formula years before full recovery plus unrecovered cost at start of the year divided by cash flow during the year. So let us note down the cumulative cash flow. So first year we get 8,000 rupees. Second year we have 8,000 plus 7,000 which is 15,000 rupees. At the end of the third year we have 15,000 plus 4,000 which is 19,000 rupees. And at the end of the fourth year, we have 19,000 plus 3,000, which is 22,000 rupees. So basically, we can recover 20,000 rupees somewhere in between the end of third year and the end of fourth year. So years before full recovery is three. So this is equal to three plus unrecovered cost at the start of the year. So at the end of third year, we have recovered 19,000 rupees, but we want to recover 20,000 rupees. So the unrecovered cost at the start of the fourth year is 20,000 minus 19,000, which is 1,000. 
So unrecovered cost is 1000 rupees and the cash flow during the year. So the cash flow during the year is 3000 rupees. So divided by 3000. Now again, here the assumption is that the cash flow during each of these years comes in evenly. So basically this 3000 is coming in evenly throughout the day. So if we take how much is the cash flow at midday, that is half day, then since it is half day, the cash flow will be half of the total, which will be 1500. How much is the cash flow at one fourth of the day? So since it is one fourth of the entire duration of the day, it will be one fourth of the cash flow, which will be 750 rupees and so on. So this becomes three plus one by three, which is 3.33 years also 1 by 3 of a year now year has 12 months so one third of a year is four months so this can also be written as three years and four months so at three years and four months the entire investment of 20,000 rupees will be recovered as per the payback period method.